you work a full-time job and wonder how on earth you're going to build a coaching business on the side? Do you find yourself watching all the YouTube videos and listening to all the podcasts about starting a coaching business, but you feel really frustrated because no one talks about how to do it when you have a full-time job or how to do it as a side hustle? If that's you, you're in luck. In this video, I'm going to share how to start a coaching business as a side hustle while working a full-time job. Let's get into it. Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time online business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats, I do all the things, and I've been doing all the things for a really long time. And I was doing all the things, particularly in my coaching business, as a side hustle when I first got started. So I, um, I always tell the story, I made my first dollar as a coach online in 2015. But in that first year and a half or so of my coaching business, <gasps> gasp, yes, your girl was doing it as a side hustle. I had a full-time job. I actually worked in the federal government in banking and asset management and doing all the finance things. So you know, I had to be on my P's and Q's at work. It definitely wasn't a job that I could just kind of slack off on. So I remember what it was like trying to, you know, brand my business, you know, early in the morning, during um, my lunch break, you know, in the evenings, on the weekends, you know, all those little cracks of time that you try to snatch. When you're working a full-time job, I remember what that felt like. And I was even working with coaching clients. So I would just have to work with them, you know, in the evenings or on the weekends, like, you know, your girl was, was doing a lot of work. <laughs> in those days. But if you are currently building a coaching business as a side hustle, I feel for you. I understand the struggle. I understand a lot of the things that you have to deal with, but it is my hope that this video will make it easier for you because I want to share what you need to know and the things that you need to do in order to build a coaching business on the side. You ready? All right, let's get into it. All right, the first thing you need to do if you are building a coaching business on the side is you really need to focus on building your brand. Now, building your brand is very important because when you are working a full-time job, that means you don't have a lot of time to do a lot of like outbound sales or a lot of outreach in order to get clients and that you really need to attract clients and kind of get them into your world and get them to reach out to you. And it's very difficult to get clients to reach out to you if you do not have a brand. So you want to make sure that you have a brand both from a visual standpoint. So you do want that website you do want you know your social media profiles you want your logo your branding you know you want to look like an actual entrepreneur and an actual coaching business so that people feel like this is not some fly-by-night thing that they're getting ready to reach out to but also in terms of your brand you need to make sure that you have your brand together in terms of knowing what it is that you offer the types of clients that you help serve the content that you are putting out on a consistent basis I mean your content is really gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting for you when you are working that nine-to-five so if you haven't already make Make sure you focus on getting your coaching brand together. All right, the second thing you need to do that's gonna save your bacon <laughs> when you are working a full-time job and building your coaching business as a side hustle is you need to learn how to conduct discovery calls. So if you don't know what discovery calls are, it's kind of like a coaching term, but it's just like, like a nice word for sales calls. It's, I guess it's a call where clients or potential clients can discover if you guys are a good fit for each other, if you wanna work with them and if they want to work with you. And so there is an art and science to conducting discovery calls in a way that actually leads to the sale and actually talk about that and I give my whole you know discovery call template in this video here or is it here on the screen I never know but it's somewhere on the screen you can check out that video to learn all about how to conduct a discovery call but you want to make sure that you learn how to do it and that you learn how to do it ASAP because discovery calls are actually the fastest way to gain coaching clients so even though I talked about you want to have a brand you want to make sure that you are marketing yourself and that you're creating content in order to attract clients to you once they come to you a lot of uh, coaches make the mistake of thinking that they can just have like their coaching offer on like a sales page somewhere with the price and that people are automatically going to click the button and buy that doesn't happen and it really if it does happen it means your prices are too low okay so yeah if you got a hundred dollar coaching calls you know on your website sure somebody might mosey on and just click the buy now button and just add it to the cart but hopefully you're in the business of you know doing transformative coaching work and so you deserve to be paid accordingly especially if you want to get out of your job because ain't nobody getting out of their job selling a hundred dollar coaching sessions okay so you do want to make sure that you are charging appropriately 
clearly and it's very difficult to do that if you are not at least conducting discovery calls because that is the best way to be able to close higher paying coaching clients. And speaking of higher paying coaching clients, the third thing that you need to do if you are trying to build a coaching business as a side hustle is raise your prices and not your client load. This is huge because you have a limited amount of time, right? You are working nine to five. And so I never understand when people, again, are doing these hundred dollar coaching sessions and they're really proud of themselves because they're like, oh, Courtney, look, I got four clients. And I'm like, great, but how many clients do you need at a hundred dollars a client in order to be able to get out of your job? a lot and that's not going to work if you're trying to make four or five six thousand dollars a month in order to be able to leave your job it just requires too many clients to work with and you don't have that kind of time like i mean you can't coach them around the clock when you literally are working from nine to five so it's really important that when you are focused on building your coaching business that you focus on raising your prices and not your client load okay so you don't want to take on more clients you just want to be able to charge more for the clients that you are taking on and so in the beginning Perhaps your, your prices might not quite be where you want them to be, but once you've gotten results for clients, once you've gotten those testimonials, you can begin to leverage those in accordance with your brand, which we talked about in the first step. And so you can start attracting clients who are willing to pay you more money. Therefore, you don't have to take on more clients. You're just earning more from the clients that you're working with. And eventually that will allow you to be able to quit your job. All right, I got more tips where that came from, but first I wanna know, are you coaching on the side? Is your coaching business a side hustle? Go ahead. And and share in the comments below. All right, the fourth thing you need to do in order to grow your coaching business as a side hustle is outsource. Outsourcing is a big deal. It's a big deal, do it. So I always tell people that I actually paid virtual assistants before I paid myself, okay? So I was working full-time in my business, even when my business was getting steam and I was landing clients, I was selling courses, I was selling digital products and I was making a little bit of money before I was like, oh, I'm making money, I'm gonna quit my job and just pay myself. I paid not one, but two virtual assistants to handle a lot of the, you know, ticky tacky type things that you have to do in your business so that I could focus just on coaching and just on marketing when I was off work. And so I hired a VA in order to answer a lot of my emails when I was at work to schedule my social media I hired a VA to do all of my graphic design because it was taking me so long to design all this stuff all these you know flyers and join my coaching call and all this stuff like you just need to protect your time at all costs so you know you want to make sure that as soon as you are able to you are hiring assistants you know VAs even interns to be able to do a lot of the heavy lifting in your business for you while you are at work so that you can focus on the things that make money. All right, the fifth thing you need to do if you are growing your coaching business on the side is leverage systems, yes. Any entrepreneur, especially online entrepreneurs worth their salt will rave and rant about systems because they're so important, but they're even more important when you're working a full-time job because you need things working for you in the background, right? You need sales systems that are, you know, bringing people from your Instagram page to your discovery calls and enrolling them automatically. You want to make sure that you are signing up for software and services that allows them to book a time on their own to get on their calendar so that you're not having to go back and forth and say, Hey, does 2 PM on Thursday work for you what about 9 a.m. on Saturday no you want systems who are automatically handling all of that for you you want systems to automatically publish your social media posts so maybe you're working with an intern to cure to curate and queue up a lot of your social media but you want to make sure that you are taking advantage of software and various systems that will make sure all of that stuff gets published as it needs to automatically and especially with your sales system this is the biggest thing because again you're working a full-time job you probably don't have the time and the bandwidth to do a lot of outreach and to do a lot of outbound sales you want to have sales funnels running in the background you want to have automated emails you want all the automated things all the sales things in order to bring clients to you or essentially potential clients to you so that all you have to do is get on your discovery call and then let them know about your program and then ultimately close them over the phone and then hopefully land a new client all right, so I hope these tips are helpful for you. If you are like, yes, I really wanna grow my coaching business while I am working my full-time job and grow it on the side, you still need clients. If you're not sure what those client attracting systems look like, which I talked about in the fifth tip, then you can learn that in my free client attraction masterclass at CourtneyLSanders.com slash masterclass. So it's completely free and I go over the entire process that I use to this day and I definitely used when I was working a full-time job in order to attract clients to me. So you will find that very helpful. People rave about that masterclass. You should definitely check it out. And with that, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want even more business, coaching, online marketing, all the things, tips, then make sure you are subscribed to my podcast, The Courtney Sanders Show. You can find it on both iTunes and Spotify. And if you want even more, make sure you are following me on Instagram. Leave a comment, send me a DM. I'd love to hear from you. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.